what do we got here? Some leftover. Some leftover Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yummy. Ah. Right so we got a TV. Oh, all wet and busted up. But it's got parts, man. Gotta get the parts. Yeah, get this back here. I don't know if I'll get the the whole thing, but I'll get what I can. It'll be a pain in the ass to get all that. Uh, what we got here? Let's see. Oh, it's a little heavy. Guess we're gonna take it off. Ugh. I'm not taking that. All right, all right, all right. Surprised the raccoons or cats ain't got all that yet. Sweet. Man, I'm digging my new light. Got it from my mom. Thanks, mom. I love you. What is this? A little card of some sort. I'll take it. <laughs> Water burger. Ooh, what is that? Natrine Healthy Trinity Probiotic Capsules, still sealed. Some tea. There is. Coal. junk cold pressed oil it's all sealed it says new it's the date expiration 12 31 18 well they're still good Figure out what that crap is, man. Oh. Pregnancy tea. Somebody been getting knocked up. Huh. All right. Hi. More. What the heck? Hold on. Blur bar, still in the package. May of 2018. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's all this. Ginger root. Ninth expired. Hmm. Yes. Preggy Naturals. Little chewies. What's in here? What? Healthy, healthy cardiovascular function. This stuff's all expired. Natural way isolate. 
Expiration. Oh, it's way expired. Six months ago expired. Uh, coconut oil does coconut oil expire I don't think so I'll take some coconut oil it says August of 2018 but does it really expire I don't think so Not coconut oil this thing's good for cooking, massaging, great for your skin. And I ain't taking none of this other junk. The total EFA. Yeah. Oh, gummy worms. What's up, gummy worms? Yeah. Yeah, uh, not 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 really what I'm I'm looking for, but I will take the coconut oil. All right. Oh. Or something. Some shavings. Water motor and gong. A little bit of metal. Let's have a little shop. Metal shop nearby. Ooh, man, these shavings will jack y'all up. Be careful if y'all ever get in a dumpster that's got these metal shavings, man. They will. Ooh, cut you up. All right, all right, what do we got here? A little PVC pipe cutter. Looks locked up there. Uh, see if we can't get it working. Not, you know, whatever. Getting up in there. <laughs> little gun. I'm in a little pesticide place. It's probably like a little gun for a. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's got some grease on it. Oh well. We'll take it. Cord in there. You got there. See that lighter? Some sort of charger. Stream light. Oh, it's a flashlight charger. Piece of a squeegee. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, there's the box for the gun good stuff oh it's for like spray foam okay gotcha sweet Whoa. look at that oh it's just like some wood and something over it what's that
tray, maybe for like a toolbox or something. Some packing paper. That says garage. What's in the garage? Ah, uh, just packing paper. This is a little heavier. Is there a dead body? No dead body. Just more paper. Ugh. Paper. Yeah. Whoa, there, buddy. Ah, boo -boo. Whoa. Is that a scooter? batteries Sweet. tell you what these look like the cover plates for them there's, there's another battery I wonder if the batteries are just dead the fog machine no fog machine up in her So wait! Yeah! Ooh, a suitcase! Oh, and it's full of something! What's in the suitcase? Oh! Another suitcase! And another suitcase! Wait, I got three suitcases for the price of one, buddy. Let's see, what is that? TG. I don't know, we'll do a little research, but yeah, we'll take that guy for show. Right. Are you kidding me? Man, I just jacked like 20 of these to make garage sale signs. I literally had to run out into the street, into the rain, and risk getting run over. And all I had to do was just come to this dumpster, and I could have had all the signs that I needed to make garage sale signs. But that's how life is, right? Just smacks you around like a little, you know what? Anyway, cool. What is that? What the heck is that? I'm guessing, oh, I know what it is. It goes on the, this, and I just saw the glass in there. Okay. Dude, all three pieces of glass are here intact. Actually, there's more glass. not break that we could probably sell that don't fall yeah I guess that oh so we got three these are the shelves and that's the top piece yeah this is gonna go up here and then those three 
Bam, bam, bam. Hey, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Take it. Wasabi seafood. Oh, what we got here? Is this breakfast? Fully cooked chicken sausage breakfast links. Man, that's a lot of food. Keep refrigerated. Duraflex. Ooh, mother of Joseph. Ooh, a little hot plate. Whiskey. What? Those are pretty nice little jugs. <laughs> jugs. Pinion log. What is a pinion log? Oh. I can't believe it throwing this plastic in the trash. I mean, like, good stuff here. Oh. Cannabis reed? What? You say what? What the heck kind of crap is this? Ah, oh, man, it's like, I don't know what, it looks like tobacco? Been emptying their their cigars to put their weed in it, huh? Yeah. That's... What's that? Oh, another hot plate. There's another plastic jug down here, but I don't know, man. Let's see. Ugh. Oh God, oh my God. Never mind, dude, never mind. Sometimes you just gotta know. Know when to say when, you know what I mean? Whew. But I'll take this stuff for show. Some electronic scrap. And camera. Sweet. Say what? Priority Mail Express mailing box. Hey, I can use a few of these. And I don't need them all. But you know, UPS stuff and what have you. Just threw out all their boxes. Oh, those are smaller ones. Take those, take those. I'm put the lid on so these don't get completely messed up. That way if somebody comes by and wants to get some more, they got them. I don't need them all. Another keyboard for my collection. Anything else in here? Sweet. 
some new furniture. Not with the old. Yeah, folks, that's as cheap as they come, man. It's big, it's bulky, pain in the butt. All that MDF press board, and yeah. So, don't get mad at me, but I ain't taking that thing, man. Somebody else can have it. Uh-oh. Hell, I'll plug it in to see if it works. Don't need no Swiffer, though. Macy's bag. I hear bells. I hear jingle bells. I put those on my dogs. This madness. Merry Christmas, teacher. Oh, a teacher. Now. Uh, that looks kind of dirty and scary all at the same time. Huh. I'm gonna bring these home for my... I think it'd be fun to put one on the dog. Angel gets his wings. Up, uh, and then, then there's like... A legless dude. There's some creepy stuff in this dumpster, man. All right. That's it. What's that? Got some dubs. Nah, they 16s, but they clean though. Tarp. I see a plug. I see a TV. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. That wind. Nasty tote. Got here. That's a flat one, man. Sweet. Let me take it out. What's this? What? A little gas tank pump thing? Sweet. All right. Shit. Can't get out. There we go. Oh, what is that? Ah, it's empty. 64 gig. Someone said you could sell these boxes. Can you sell an empty iPhone box? I mean, would somebody really pay for that? I mean, I'll take it and put in the storage unit and see but I mean I really I guess people would buy them for like gag gifts or something but who knows we got up in here y'all some extension cord some dirty ass extension cord what is that Anybody know what that is? Not a clue, not a clue. There's another cord. What is it attached to? Oh jeez. Oh. Oh, Woo, that's a dirty fan. No thank you, sir. No thank you. 
Boxes, what? Uh, LG monitor, it's like 16, 17 inch with the stand. It's another one. Don't look like anything wrong with those. Sweet. Something's in that box. Thermally protected. Sweet. Alright guys, so we completed another successful day of scavenging for stuff. Uh, we we'll just go through, kind of do, just group it out a little bit here. Uh, my little electronic pile, I got uh, some extension cords, uh, got a couple of boards, old keyboard, just add that to my pile. And then batteries, these are good recycle, uh, nice and heavy, get pretty good at the yard for them. And we got a couple of TVs. This is the first one we found. It's got some scratches on it. I don't know. It was really wet too. It was in an open top dumpster. So uh, we'll plug it in and see if it works. If not, you know, got a guy. He gave me a few bucks for it, and uh, you know, he'll he'll part. He takes the parts out or tries to fix them. Same thing with this Toshiba. There really doesn't look to be anything really wrong with this one. So I'm curious to plug it in and see if it works. Uh, we got a couple of LG uh, monitors. Same thing. Uh, they look like they're probably, you know, about 17 inches. If these guys work, uh, let me see. Yeah, okay, I got plenty of power cords. If these guys work, I can get 20 to 30 bucks on these all day long. So, yeah, not too bad. Just, just sitting right here. Then I found this little shelf. I thought I scored pretty bit, pretty good with it. Uh, it's one of those, you know, it's a little, uh, the like four, four shelf, five, one, two, three, yeah, four shelf glass shelf here like i guess you know put a little tv up here and then you know have like a vcr a vcr <laughs> that's how old school i am uh you know dvd player uh all that good stuff playstation but uh, upon further review the little shelf pins we're missing a couple of them so but they don't look like they broke off in there so i just have to go to the hardware store see if i can find something to match that thread up you know something something similar to it that would you know put a little o-ring on it and then see if we can uh, uh get something in there get this shelf functioning because if we can get this shelf functioning i can probably get 20 bucks for it as it sits versus you know the 10 cents i'll probably get for it what it worth in scrap so we will see hopefully i think i can make it happen and uh you know make a couple dollars on it Ooh. and then that one dumpster we found all the uh united states postal service boxes already bundled up still wrapped in plastic there was more of them in there i only took a few because to be honest with you i mean i don't think that i would need them that much put the top back on it you know help keep them dry hopefully somebody comes along and and picks them up and can use them but i do a little bit of selling online ebay what have you and uh, you know shipping and these could definitely definitely help out save me you know a little bit of money, save where you can, do what you can. All right. And in that one dumpster, I found these these containers, nice, solid plastic. Uh, it was actually behind a place that I think they do uh, oils, candles, make scents and things like that. So, of course, it's not like cannabis oil or anything. But, you know, uh, I could probably use one of these, you know, do the oil change, have a little container, put my oil in. Somebody, I know somebody probably give me five, 10 bucks 
looking for in these, I put them up on, on Craigslist or Marketplace. So, you know, have never sold any of these before, but they seem to be in pretty good shape and, and they definitely could be used for some sort of waste fluid. Something other than just going straight to the landfill, that's for sure. Then we found this guy. It's called a flow and go. It's a I've never seen it, but it's a gas can. Decent sized gas can too. That's probably 10 to 15 gallons uh, with a dispenser. I guess it's just gravity feed. There's your valve right there. Looks like there's a little bit of fluid in there, but uh, you would clean it up. I mean, surely, surely somebody could use that. I mean, if anything, I mean, it's a, it's a storage tank for something if you don't want to use it for gas. So, you know, put that in the garage sale or, you know, put it up online. Someone would probably give me five, 10 bucks for it, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, nice. And then in that other dumpster, I found these two Razor electric scooters. I was kind of contemplating maybe trying to fix them up, give them some kids, but they seem to be in really bad shape. You know, probably just a battery. I don't know, but I know these Razor scooters are not too expensive. So it'll probably ultimately end up in the trash. I don't know. I might try to hook a battery up and see what happens. But um, I was hoping that they'd be in a little bit better shape to try and repair. This one doesn't seem to be too bad. I don't know. I might, might see about putting a battery in there and who knows? It might work. Everything seems to be there. So... Um, yeah, I guess that was not too bad. Also in that one dumpster, I found those white, uh, those white liquid containers. Oh, that's broken. Okay, that's no good. Um, yeah, I found these two little Black & Decker, uh, burners here. Be curious to plug them and see if they work. They look like they're really old, kind of beat up. More than likely it'd be scrap. That one's definitely not coming back. Uh, this one looks to be intact, so we'll plug it in and see if it works. If it works, you know, I'd probably get five bucks for it. If not, you know, that's his scrap pile. And then we got a little Christmas reef here. It's got lights on it. Plug it in and see if it works. If it works, you know, pretty awesome. Maybe use it in my house for decorations. If not, throw it up online. Someone give me five, ten bucks for it. If it's working. If not, you know, it's probably just a matter of finding the bulb that's out. But, I mean... Nothing really wrong with it, even if it doesn't work. I mean, it's still during the day would look pretty up, you know, somewhere. So we'll try to make do with what we got. See if we can get this a new home. And then in that other dumpster, found this suitcase. I mean, it's definitely not in the best of shape, but ooh, a cone. There is a another suitcase inside. Jeez, how do you open these things? Oh, here you go. Another suitcase inside with another suitcase inside of it. So we've got tra travel gear, what it's called. I don't know if that's a... So some headphones, a pin, some business cards, somebody, somebody traveling, what is that? Priority Club Rewards, Submaranian, uh, what the heck? Oh man, that's somebody's name. Oh, there's a quarter in there. Sweet. So yeah, we'll go through this, dig through a little bit, you know. Might be some personal information that really don't wanna, you know, like to protect people's identity as much as I can. You know, I know, I know if I had stuff in the trash with my name on it, I wouldn't want people rummaging around and blasting my name all over the internet so but yeah you know three suitcases i'd probably get 20 bucks for it nice overall not a bad little haul here